Hey everyone, Mark from Coast to Country. Today's video, we're going to paint all this um, timber that we've cut shapes out of, sealed it up, ready to be carpeted. Um, while I was at it, I thought I'll take this seat off the original um, timber board. It's all rusted out, and I'm changing these seats anyway. And then I might have a quick inspection of this carpet and see what it's like. Um, if it is a bit rough, I may as well take that off while I'm at it and paint this board because this isn't sealed at all. So I may as well seal that while we're doing a heap of the others. So let's get into it. Right, these bolts are really rusty, so they'll never come undone from the other side, so we're just going to cut the backs of them off. Alright, I'll just cut through those. That one might need a bit more. Get your favourite chisel that you don't want to use for woodworking. side a little bit. We're going to paint this, no one's going to see it anyway, so... So these are absolutely had it and rusted, they'll never come out anyway. So, um, other than that, oh, turntables, some better days. I might just have grit in it. But anyway, we will change these seats. I'll keep that for a different boat one day. So, I probably will change this over. What I've noticed is someone's used galvanised. Uh, chicken wire staples to hold this in. So the carpet might be right, but I want to get rid of these staples if nothing else. So they're only small, but again, galvanised stuff in boats isn't brilliant. So they didn't seal this board, which is what I'll do anyway, while we're at it, might as well. The carpet's actually not too bad. So I may even just reuse it. There's a hole there with aluminium welding went. Oh, I've put holes in it there, haven't I? Anyway, for the sake of a tiny bit extra carpet, I might just change it. Anyway, I'll worry about that in a minute. First things first, give us a light sand, and I'll paint that with the rest of these boards. These are the back little boards that sit in the back of the boat. One's got a fuel tank on it, and one's just for storage, like an anchor or back anchor if you wanted one. Um, yeah, so basically, I had a quick look at these as well, and got the same staples. So I think I'll take these off while we're painting. I may as well seal all these boards while we're at it. It's probably only got to be done some later stage. So while I've got a mess going on, I may as well just do it. Need some paint to seal these um, boards we've been making. Uh, it really just needs to be any exterior paint. Just found this in the shed, which is about 
12 years old. It's left, left over from the house. Exterior gloss, so this will be interesting. Feels liquid, but I reckon it's going to look pretty ordinary. It's quite full, so it might be right. Oh, I just dropped all the rust in the top. Probably doesn't matter. Let's do that. It actually looks like it'll come up alright. Probably because it's quite full. You know when you get half a can or less, they tend to um, go all hard. But I'll give that a stir and see what happens. Just found this hand paint stirrer. But I've just found you can rip the handle off. Stick the drill on it, otherwise we'll be here all day. Probably have paint everywhere in a minute. What could possibly go wrong? I'll put that in slow though. Looks alright. Got to go a bit easy at the bottom because it's a pretty rusty can. I don't want the bottom falling out of it. Oh, hang on. So the shaft spinning, but the... Alright, so I don't think that was designed for that. Shaft spinning, but the paddle isn't. Oh, it was fun while it lasted. Maybe we'll just stick the handle back on it. That actually feels pretty good. Oh. I thought the engine fell off it. Oh. Well, that's going to be fine. You wouldn't believe it. I'm in trouble now. This is my half good jumper. I was um, blasting this off with the hose and it was solid. And I've hit it and it's spun. It's gone. This is going to kill me. So just on one side of these um, bits of uh, what are they? plywood that we've made to fit in the boat. So I've just got them laying everywhere around the shed. Just whacked on a pretty heavy coat on the, I think most of this is all the underside. And put a pretty heavy coat on the edges. So when that dries we'll flip that over and then we'll do the edges again. Um, that just seals it up. So even if you had marine ply I'd still paint it with this. So um, yeah, so even though this is cheap plywood do spend a bit on paint. This was stuff I had laying around, luckily, which obviously bought for the house years ago, but um, obviously still had to pay for it. So um, if you do use marine ply though, I'd, I'd still spend the money and buy the paint to 
to seal it as well because it just doesn't last. I mean, it lasts a, a while, but it won't last forever. So yeah, I've got those scattered everywhere, run out of bench room. So we've just been whizzing around with the brush and the bits I can't get into, and then just slap some paint on with a roller for the rest of it. And like I said, we'll flip them over and do the other side. It's going pretty heavy on the one coat and lets it soak in. Um, you find it, you know, it soaks in on the edges quite well and then you'll find a spot where it doesn't. So when we flip it over and do the other side, that'll sort that out. Also, what I was talking about before is when the holes are already drilled, if you drown them in paint, they'll run through. And then when we put screws in and things, it's got a little bit of protection in there. Whereas if you drill all the holes later, uh, you're just opening up new timber for water to get into. So um, that's why we do that. Time to flip these over and then we'll paint the other side. Oh, we'll just let that dry now. Just go and clean up these brushes and things and the roller and um, let that dry and then we'll start putting some carpet on.